do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today, man, we got the youngest Tatiana, you know what I'm saying? We have the, well, not a thought. well, we have the youngest hooker, right? If, if y'all know what a hooker is, a person that sells their body, right? They, they basically charge a certain fee, and you can sleep with them, you can get the neckers, you can get the handers, you can get whatever the heck you want, you know what I'm saying? I would assume you know what a, what a, what a, what a hooker is, a prostitute is, you know what I'm saying? This one is a sad case, though, it's the youngest one. I think she's like 16, right? I think she's like 16 or 15 or something like that. And she on the street selling her body. I don't know where she, I don't know where this came from. I don't know how she got here. But um, apparently she's on TikTok, so we finna watch this. It's actually a very sad case. Because, you know, it's like this this type of stuff that make you scared to have a daughter. Because then it's like there's so many paths that she can go down. And this is definitely not one of the paths that you want your daughter to go down. Because it's like, what, like, why? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it had to have been like some trauma or something like that, or or some I don't know what I don't I really don't know what it is, but it had to have been like something wasn't right, like she something wasn't right, like mentally with her or situationally. You know what I'm saying? Where she just resulted to prostitution at such a young age, and that's scary for a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like that's mad scary. Like you 15, 16, you you barely lived, and you over here got more bodies than freaking a graveyard. You know what I'm saying? Like that's crazy to me, but. We finna watch this, man. Prayers in the chat right now for her. Pray Hannah Motors in the chat right now. But before we get into the video, Jura.com, you can buy two and third free. You can up, say $50. We got the best Jura's in the game, man. You're going to be super sexy with this thing on. I can promise you that. But, um, yeah, let's hop right into this, man. This is crazy. Um, There's really not that much for me to say. Okay, let's pause real quick. Let's, let's, how old is she really? Her eyebrows are mad bushy. I'm not here to roast something like that. I just, I happened to look at her eyebrows and it was just, poof, like. You know what I'm saying? Huge. But, um, yeah, I think she's like 15, 16, but she got tattoos, so I don't know. But let's listen to this story time, man. Let's see what she's talking about. I'm going to watch through it all. I'm not going to pause it at all. Um, yeah. Um, there's really not that much for me to say. Ain't nobody ever going to love me. Ain't nobody ever going to care for me. This is just what I do. Like, it's the same old story. Like, I was born. I was in foster care. I was in group homes. I'm older now, and I'm just doing my thing. Like, I can't keep no job. Every time I get a job, it's just I never had a job longer than two weeks. And I get fired a lot, or I just don't get hired. People just not fucking with me. So now, I just, I'm just a prostitute, and I'm just getting how I live. Like, this is the life I was born to live, and this is the life I'm adopt from. I just accepted the lifestyle. Like, that's why I don't cry. I'm not upset, bro. I don't give a fuck if a nigga fuck, fuck me. Give me brother, fuck me, and never talk to me again. I don't care. Like, nobody's got to love me, and I know that. Like, I don't know why niggas come to them my shit saying all this shit. Uh, 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 bro, that, this is my life. This is what I'm going down from. This is this is what it is. This That's it. And that's all I got to say. There's really, I don't really like talking about my life at all. It's so many things, bro. This so sad, but it's crazy, man. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta talk to y'all, man. I gotta, I gotta run this down for y'all, cause I be, got, I be having to break this stuff down for y'all, cause I feel like y'all don't be understanding. So I'm gonna break down everything that's going on in this video, right? So bada boom, bada bang, right? Let's, um, let's, let's talk about the really first part. There's not that much for me to say. Ain't nobody ever gonna love me. Ain't nobody ever gonna care for me. This is. See, that's. I told you, that's like something. And she mentioned in here something else that we gonna talk about a little bit later. But um, this is the type of thing, right? I t it's not just like she ain't just wake up one day with like with a healthy family, healthy environment, and everything like that. She was just like, "Hey, let me go just start, start around." You know what I'm saying? Get twenty five dollars for the neckers. You know what I'm saying? It was this had to have been like a. It something happened, right? And she does. She obviously don't feel love. She don't feel like that people care about her, so she thinks this is her only option. But let's keep going because this is just what I do, like. It's the same old story. Like, I was born. I was in foster care. And I want y'all to understand something. I told y'all earlier in the video. This is very serious. We all talk about this. I told y'all earlier in the video. She was like, her eyebrows is real big, bushy. Notice in the video how many times she do like this. So she's insecure about her eyebrows. And, I, you know, they're huge. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're big. But I'm not here to roast nobody. I'm just saying. Yeah, I was in group homes. So she was in foster care and all that. You know what I'm saying? Um... 
I feel bad. You know, okay, so I'm, I'm going to say this, right? I I personally, I personally, I think foster care is so, it's, it can be so bad for kids, right? Because um, if they, especially if they're older, they're not really going to get adopted. The older you are, the, le- the less your chance is going down to get adopted. If you adopted right now, um, GG's to you, man, you made it. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't begin getting adopted, and then they end up living in foster homes their whole life, going from house to house to house. And that's mentally unstable for kids. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, they, they always, they get attached to one family, then they go to the next one. They got to get, get attached to that one or don't get attached to that one. They always full of people that's not really there for them. You know what I'm saying? So I can understand where she's coming from the aspect of, like, she don't feel like people love her and all that. You know what I'm saying? And that led her down to this path. But the, 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 the dudes that you was clapping don't love you either. Like, they're not fulfilling that hole. The only hole they fulfilling is the hole that they sticking their ball sacks in. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're not filling the hole of loving you. But girls that have, like, these type of problems, they want attention. And it, that gives them attention. It's like the girl, the dudes will come and give them attention. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. Let's keep watching. I'm older now, and I'm just doing my thing. Like, I can't keep no job. Every time I get a job, it's just I never had a job longer than two weeks. I'm not going to lie to you. Getting a job is pretty easy. Um, I don't know why people complain about getting a job. You probably can't get a good, like a great job. You, but you, anybody can really get a job. It's just the fact you got to find a place and have a good, like, resume. And you could lie on your mother. Lie on your resume. It's not hard. It's really not hard to lie on your resume. I'm just throwing that out there. But anyways, I'm not telling y'all to go lie about your resume and nothing like that. I'm just saying, to get a job and also to keep a job, that's, that's, a, that's a personal thing. You, you kind of, nobody just fires people for no reason. I'm telling you that right now. Um, any job you work, if you're good at your job, they're not going to fire you. I'm telling you right now. Like, so obviously she's not good at her job. And then she said, she said that's why she went to prostitution. But either, let's say she didn't get a job. Let's say she can't work at Chick-fil-A. Let's say she can't work at Hooters. Let's say she can't work at, you know what I'm saying, Cheesecake Factory or, or the de- car dealership or whatever. Jumping straight from a regular job to prostitution is a big leap. You could have jumped to OnlyFans. I don't endorse OnlyFans. I'm not saying y'all ladies go out there and go sell your body to pictures and all that. But that's better than going out there and getting clapped down and dogged down with these old people. You know what I'm saying? These old people with herpes and A's and all types of STDs. You know what I'm saying? You Just take some pictures of your freaking titties and post them. And you make just as much money as the prostitution. Probably more. That one girl, the, the, the Catch Me Outside girl, made like a million dollars in a day. And she like 18. That's weird. That's disgusting. Why did she make that much money in a day? I need to start her OnlyFans. But, like, there's so many... It's so many steps in between prostitution. Like, you've got, you got, like, holders. You know what I'm saying? And then you got, like, a stripper. Well, no. And then you got... Yeah. No. Okay, you got holders. And then you got OnlyFans. And then you could be a stripper if that don't work. And then if the stripping don't work, then be an escort. If the escorting thing don't work... Then you then you go with well don't go to prostitution. I'm not telling nobody to go to prostitution. I'm you know what I'm saying, man. And I get fired a lot, or I just don't get hired. People just not fucking with me. So now I just I'm just a prostitute, and I'm just getting how I live. Like this is the life I was born to live, and this is the life I'm gonna die from. I just accepted the lifestyle. Like that's why I don't cry. I'm not upset, bro. I don't give a. Fuck. Y'all find her TikTok. I want to react to more of her videos. Somebody find me more of her videos. I want to react to them. I want to. I want to. Do she do more of these story times or something? Y'all let me know. Because she seemed real sad in this video. I'm not going to lie to you. She seems extremely sad. And I could, I could hear it in her voice. And she really going through it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck if why niggas come to them. Watch. All I got to say. There's really. Y'all let me know if y'all find any. If y'all find any more videos. I'll react to more of them. Just hit me on Instagram at Juver underscore. Send me the links or whatever like that. But that's the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. This type of stuff make it scary to have kids. A daughter especially. Because it's like, what if she don't feel loved? And then she go seek validation from prostituting or stripping or, or OnlyFans or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man, that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, smash the like button. Let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comments down below. You know anybody that's a prostitute? Do you, do you, if you feel unloved, man, hit me in the DMs, bro. I'm going to show you some love. Not no weird, no weird stuff. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to give you attention so you don't go to prostituting or whatever the heck you would go to. But, um, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm going to see y'all 
out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.